Oh, he loves to fire that. What a goal! Oh, Welcome to another exciting episode of Exports, your number one sports tainment show, a fusion of sports and entertainment. It's all for your listening pleasure. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are all over the world. This is Talking Point with Steve-O, reaching you live from MZ Radio London and AP Radio Bradford, United Kingdom. My name remains a lion, this is Interview Lokwe, I'm your regular host and your guide on Talking Point with Steve-O from the stable of Xports, the number one sportainment show on TV, on radio and online. This is brought to you normally by Eagles House Global Resources. On today's episode, we are going to be bringing you an interesting discourse, an interesting topic, uh, which uh, pitches us to look at the recently concluded transfer of the Uruguayan uh, forward talking about Luis Suarez. Luis Suarez leaving Barcelona to Atletico Madrid. If you come back, I'm going to give you analysis, uh, the preview as to my five talking points on Luis Suarez leaving Barcelona, you know, heading towards Atletico Madrid, another rival in the Spanish La Liga. Is it a good move? Is it the move that people expect? Even if you are going to allow a dead leak and a potent striker like Luis Suarez to leave, why do you allow him to still play in the same league where at least twice you are going to be meeting home and away at the Metropolitan or at the Neo Camp? So what Barcelona have done simply is to say that they don't give a damn and they feel that Luis Suarez cannot be of any danger to them as a team. When we come back, we're going to look at this possibility and we are going to discuss what are the chances and what are the possibility of Luis Suarez coming back to hurt Barcelona as a team. I'll be right back. This is the talking point with Steve Don't go anywhere. We're live on MZ Radio London and AP Radio United Kingdom. I'll be right back. My name is John and I'm on talking point with Steve Export, MZ Radio London. Welcome back. This is Tea Talking Point with Steve from the stable of Exports, the number one sport team and show on TV, on radio, and online. We are still talking about Luis Suarez leaving Barcelona for Atletico Madrid. Uh, Baca and Atletico Madrid. Um, reached an agreement to allow the Uruguayan forward, the Uruguayan striker, uh, on the base of variables, payment plan and variables, to leave Barcelona for 6 million euros. 6 million euros. In my own view, I don't think that is too bad, you know, very small. Of course, looking at the age of Luis Suarez, he's 33 years old, so he's not getting younger. And the season, uh, the last season, because of the injury he had, he was not as potent as he used to be. But be that as it may, his six years with uh, uh, Barcelona has been fruitful, having won 13 trophies in his six years uh, seasons with uh, Barcelona, and uh, scoring 198 goals in 283 games. 198 goals in 283 games. You know, that's, that's massive. And what would uh, easily not forget, I won the golden shoe as European, as Europe top scorer in 2015-2016 uh, after scoring 59 goals in total. Of course, drafting uh, um, Cristiano Ronaldo and uh, Lionel Messi uh, across Europe. So, he has left. Uh, when he left um, Liverpool in 2014 uh, to Barca, the, 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 the Liverpoolians felt betrayed and uh, disappointed that Luis Suarez left uh, Liverpool for, 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 for Barcelona, remembering the fact that a season before he scored 33 uh, goals for them at, at the Premiership. But that's all history now. Of course, we remember how he came from Ayas 
and Liverpool gave him the necessary uh, 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 um, springboard to become a world and you know for a known star and that's why Baka came for him. Now six years after that uh, Atletico Madrid is now uh, now demanded for Luis Suarez. Of course some, some, some weeks ago we all thought he was going to Syria, going to Juventus but somewhere somewhere uh, having gone to, to have a test in, 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 uh, in Italy, something seems not to have gone right. The long and short story is that Luis Suarez is a player of Atletico Madrid come this season. Would Baka regret this action? Is it a justifiable action? This forms the basis of our talking point for today's episode. So I start from the rear as usual. I start from number five. Number five, I target you don't arm your competitor. You don't arm your competitor. What am I talking about? Ronald Coleman, a, a, a backer legend in his own uh, status, insisted that doesn't want Suarez is not the issue here. You might decide you don't want a particular player, maybe he's old, you want to change the entire system, you don't like his pattern of play, you don't like his commitment to the team. But why would you allow him to go to one of your fearless rivals? Talking about Atletico Madrid, you don't arm your competitor. On whatever reason, a Juventus departure would have made sense by all standards, you know. But leaving him to go now to, to Atletico Madrid means that he would likely form a deadly partnership, of course, on the old school basis, with Diego Costa. And when you have a Diego Costa and Luis Suarez under Diego Simone, something might come out of it. He might play against uh, Granada this weekend or Oscar next week, Wednesday. You know, in, in, in the long run, it pays Diego Simone to have uh, a Luis Suarez. So I feel strongly that you don't harm your competitor under whatever circumstances. I think back ahead. I think Bruno Coman Nicoli Head as a coach uh, for allowing uh, Luis Suarez to leave, not in any, to any club, not to English Premiership, not to Syria, not to Bundesliga in Germany, not, 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 to, uh, not, not to Ligue 1 in France, uh, not to LADVC in Holland, Dutch, you know, but in same Spanish La Liga and not to any team, but one of the fearless drivers, you know, are tackling Barcelona. In the last uh, 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 four years, uh, four or five years, you know, his six years in Barcelona simply connotes that he has won the La Liga four times. Uh, the only team, the only team apart from last season that Real Madrid won it, the other team that stopped Barcelona from winning uh, the La Liga was Atletico Madrid, and it is this same Atletico Madrid that bought uh, Luis Suarez. Time will tell if this is a good move. Of course, a good move for, for, for Luis Suarez. If this is a good uh, business done by Barcelona and Ronald Koma. That's my number five. You don't arm your competitor. I move straight to my number four. The Baka crisis. I take it again. The Baka crisis. Of course, we are all aware that Barcelona is in serious uh, crisis as a team. Uh, stemming from the COVID-19 crisis that has bedeviled the entire uh, planet. Uh, and as a person, I'm still amazed and taken aback with uh, Ronald Koeman's insistence of allowing Suarez and uh, Rakitic to go uh, at the same time. Rakitic has gone back to Sevilla and uh, allowing Suarez to go to Atletico Madrid. To me, if you are going to ask me the same question that who are the likely clubs that are going to give, uh, give Baka a run for their money? Of course, we all take it for granted that the defending champion, uh, uh, Real Madrid, will automatically be number one. But to me, Sevilla will be the greatest challenge that Baka will have. Uh, if, if Real Madrid uh, doesn't um, 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 so, um, win and um, defend the title of the Spanish La Liga, then Sevilla will likely be the, the, the team that will give them uh, a run for their money, not even Baka, in my own view. So what that means is that allowing Rakitic to equally go to Sevilla, in my own view, was equally a major mistake uh, for, 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 
Kona Kuma and Baka. You know, so the crisis has become so much that it cannot be ignored any longer. You know, so the crisis has deepened so much that uh, Messi gave us a whole lot of drama. We all thought Messi was departing uh, Barcelona for, 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 for Manchester City or PSG or even Inter Milan. But as, as the case, as it turns now, he said he's going to finish this season with them, meaning that after this season, Messi will be free to move to any club. So if you know Messi is going, why would you allow a, a top player like uh, Luis Suarez and Rakitic to go, saying that they are not part of your plan? You know, so the Co Coma and Suarez face-off was uh, was one of the reasons why Lionel Messi, you know, felt that uh, he should be at Logai with Barcelona as a team. And knowing the fact that next year, uh, uh, Baka was going to have another election, as it were. So these are some of the issues that has to do with the Baka crisis. And uh, uh, coronavirus has not equally helped the team because financially. Baka is a depleted team financially. So this uh, is my number four. The Baka crisis in itself is my number four uh, on, on talking point with Steve when it comes to Luis Suarez leaving Barcelona. So when I come back, I'm going to give you my number three and my number two. Don't go anywhere. Don't touch that dial. It is still talking point with Steve on MZ Radio London and AP Radio United Kingdom. I'll be right back. Welcome back. This is the Talking Point with Steve O. My name is Alai on this TV to work with. I'm your host on Talking Point with Steve O. On the stable of exports. We move straight to number three. We are still talking about Luis Suarez leaving Barcelona. Is it justifiable? Is he going to bite them at the end of the season? Only time will tell. My number three. Suarez as a proven goal scorer. Suarez as a proven goal scorer. Uh, Luis Suarez, we all know, is a fantastic forward and he is not just a goal scorer that can be undermined in terms of his capacity, his eye for goal, his niche as a player and his desire. He goes all out to get goals. He bulldoes anything on his way. Of course, we remember what um, some very negative attributes of Suarez bite him when he was in Liverpool. But of course, having moved to Barcelona, has become more mature and that has not been part of his uh, attribute any longer. So he's a proven goal scorer. Like I mentioned earlier, that his six years in Barcelona, he scored 198 goals in 238 games. He won four La Liga for them in the, in, the, in, the, in the space of six years. He won one Champions League for them. And of course, he won other title, like one FIFA Club World Cup. He had, he only won one UEFA Super Cup. He won four Copa de Rea, four La Liga titles, one uh, UEFA, Champion, UEFA Champions League, and two Spanish Super Cup. So we are talking about a proven goal scorer. So uh, in his six years, he has come short only behind Messi and Ronaldo. Of course, except for 2015-2016, where he won the Pichichi Award, you know, scoring 59 goals, and last season, where he was injured, you know, for a long period of time. But even as a dad, he scored, he was able to score 21 goals in 36 games. That's, by all standards, was his worst season in Barcelona. And it wasn't because he is dropping form, but only because he had injuries. And this affected the entire Barcelona as a team because the, 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 the responsibility, you know, became very obvious and too much, was too much for our friend talking about uh, uh, Lionel Messi. And that's why they could not win the La Liga. So my number three is Suarez as a proven goal scorer. We all know this and I think it's a plus for the new club is going to. I move straight to my number two. Number two, I tie to it, you don't let go if there's no quality replacement. You don't let go if there's no quality replacement. To many pundits, there are so there are not so many quality replacements that are as good 
or better than Suarez as it is now available. Well, I need to put the word available for sales because if you are not talking about Mbappe, if you are not talking about Lewandowski, if you are not talking about Mo Salah, if you are not talking about Harry Kane, Abumayang, Sadio Mani, then who are you talking about? If not these players whose clubs are not going to release to Barcelona, who then are we looking at to come and replace uh, 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 Luis Suarez in, in Barcelona? I don't know the plan of Coman, uh, 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 Coman, but if his plan is to, to, to rebuild a team around uh, uh, Griezmann and Ansu Fati and probably uh, Coutinho, then I'm not sure it's, it's, it's a justifiable plan uh, 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 to have allowed Luis Suarez to have left. So my own argument here is that before you allow a potent, fantastic striker leave your team, one, you must have had and gotten another striker to say that, okay, because I've got this striker who is called a goal scorer, who is younger, who can do it, then I don't need you again. Or you have pursued that, that particular striker and you are saying that if really this person leaves, I'm bringing in this person. I don't know the plan of Ronakuma, but I don't think presently, apart from those players I've mentioned, I don't think there's presently any fantastic goal scorer out there uh, that will want to come to Baka with the crisis uh, that Baka presently has. But then, who knows? Who knows what uh, Ronakuma has all this uh, sleeve? Only time. Hotel. That's my number two and my number three. Of course, we have we allow one or two persons to express their mind as regards this. And that will be the interlude we are going to take now. Then I come back for my number one and we'll run it off. Don't go anywhere. This is still talking point with Steve and we're live on MZ Radio London and AP Radio United Kingdom. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Hello, guys. You're listening to Exports. Talking point with the wall, and this is all fails. Um, my thoughts on Luis Suarez leaving Barcelona. I think Luis is old now. I know he still got some goals in his leg, but to be sincere, Barcelona they are rebuilding. They need fresh legs. I know they they might need one or two experienced players to help them out. But Messi being there. Luis Suarez been there. I think personally, they won't give the young blood um, space to shine and be themselves. Look at what's happening to Coutinho. Look at what's happening to Green Sima because Messi is there because Luis Suarez is there. I think it's time for them to move on. To be sincere, that's my own opinion. They need to move on. I don't think Barcelona will regret it for the first two, three seasons. Maybe they may now win something big, something massive. But it's rebuilding time. They need to rebuild. They need to take heart and say, we are starting from the scratch. Um, let Luis Suarez go. He will shine whenever he goes. And uh, let Barcelona be. Let them rebuild. Let them rebuild. That's my opinion. All feels. Hello, I'm Marcos Yimite. A social media expert and a content creator well i think luis suarez leaving barcelona is a huge blow for barcelona i mean for a player that could win two golden boots during the era of messi and ronaldo is a huge feat um i think he has the second highest assists for barcelona you know all time and a fantastic player all around el pistori is is a huge blow and you could tell that he he, he didn't like the move because he was crying when he left training the training ground um, a few days ago but i think it's a huge buy for atletico madrid because now they have diego costa and Luis Suarez to man the attack. A lot of experience for um, Felipe, for Jao Felix to learn from. So it's it's a fantastic um, move for Atletico Madrid because he's starting to gain a lot from his experience. I mean, a Champions League winner, 
a um, La Liga winner and all of that. So it's a lot for for Atletico Madrid. They stand to gain a whole lot. But for Luis Suarez, I think it's a move he didn't want. But as a professional, I know he'll put in his best. So on Barcelona's part, well, I feel like they are going in a different direction. Um, a club legend in his own right, um, Ronald Koeman. And he has his own blueprints, his own plans for the future. And um, I think his best, the coach knows best. And selling, if he feels sw- selling Suarez is what he wants, then fine. But I think Barcelona is making a big mistake. They could have bought younger players to learn from him. That would have been a fantastic move. And um, really, nobody knows what is going on at Barcelona. And I'm sure um, Lionel Messi can wait for the season to end for him to pack his bags and leave. But all in all, Barcelona would, you know, give their best this season. I wonder who will lead the attack now. But let's hope for the best for FCB. And all the best to Luis Suarez on his move. My name is Marcos. I'm on Talking Points with Devo on Xports, MZ Radio, London. Welcome back. This is the Talking Point with Devo, and we are here live on MZ Radio London and AP Radio United Kingdom. My last and but not the least, the last but not the least, number one point of this uh, Luis Suarez saga is what I tag Baka next year election and the rebuilding plan. Baka next year election and the rebuilding plan. One thing that is clear for all and sundry is that Barcelona is in a serious crisis. And one thing that is important for every team that has gotten to the crescendo, having won, they, they've dominated not just the Spanish La Liga, they've dominated Europe in the last few years, talking about the last uh, you know, the last one decade or thereabouts. So they have gotten to the crescendo of whatever they've gotten. So now they are on the doodling uh, point in life. They need to plan, they need to rebuild. For every great team, there's always uh, a, 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 you know, that's uh, the, the coming down from the crescendo. And uh, it happened to Liverpool. It happened, it's pre- Man U is presently going through it. Uh, Barcelona, uh, Bayern Munich went through it for two, two, two years or thereabouts, but now they are back. So this is Baka's time. And the most important thing is that no one stays at the top forever. No one, I repeat, no team stays on the top forever. So the plan is that whenever you are getting off form, you are getting down the cliff. You are getting, you know, down the crescendo. You plan and you plan and you plan and you execute such plan. It took Michael Edwards, FSG, and Georgian Club to come to the age of Liverpool, and that's what we are seeing now in the last three years. Now for Baka, what is the plan? Next year is going to be an election. Is Bartomeu going to recontest Joseph Bartomeu? Or it's going to allow someone else to take over the mantle of leadership. After the 8 2 humiliation and embarrassment from Bayern Munich at the Champions League, the world of Baka came crushing. Don't forget that two, three years ago, they lost to Roma. Having won at the Neo Camp, they capitulated in Rome to Roma. The following year, they lost to Liverpool. Having won 3 0 at uh, Neo Camp, they capitulated to Liverpool, losing 4-0 at the Champions League at semi-final. Last year, uh, not last year, this year, you know, COVID-19 driven Champions League, they lost woefully, embarrassingly, you know, to Bayern Munich 8-2 in a one-leg affair. Azumin is not a one-leg affair. Azumin is a two-legged affair. It will have been worse. So ever, ever since that happened, there have been issues around Barcelona. And one of the issues is that there were no successor plan. I give you age bracket of the Barcelona player. Messi is 33, 
Suarez, of course, they had just left, was equally 33. Vidal left two to Inter Milan, 33. Uh, Piquet, still there, 33. Rakicic, that left to Sevilla, was 32. Busquets, 31. Jordi Alba, Jordi Alba, 31. You know, you can begin to count like that and like that. So, a team that does not that build this team around players of above 30 years of age is going to capitulate if you don't have young boys taking over, learning the rope and, you know, mixing them with the team so that you have energy, you have pace, you have the drive that is needed to, to, to get the ball rolling. Of course, that's not to say that Baka do not have younger players. There's De Jong, which is 23. There's a, the goalkeeper, you know, Testegen, who is 20, 28. There's Semendo, who is 26. There's, of course, uh, Dembele, who is 23 years. There's Untiti, who is 26 years. Uh, there's Sergio Roboto, who is 28 years. There's, uh, 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 there's Griezmann, of course, 29 years. There's Clement Lenglet, 25 years. Of course, there's Coutinho, Felix Coutinho, 28, and there's Ansu Fati, the youngest, 17 years. If there's going to be a mix with the present cup of fear and bringing in your young blood, I think Baka, as sooner or later, will get his reading back and come back to winning ways. So, the election next year is a major determinant because whoever becomes the president calls the shots. And the rebuilding plan has to be strategic. There must be a blueprint not just do things haphazardly. If Coleman is not likely going to do it, then they need to bring in another coach to execute a blueprint to bring Baka to the forefront. By and large, I think it's a major mistake, it's a major error uh, to align Suarez to go, not just to go, but secondly, to equally align to go to, to, to act rival, talking about Atletico Madrid. The La Liga matches between Baka and Atletico, I promise you, on those two occasions, if Usuara is not injured, he will do everything humanly possible to ensure that he scores and drive Atletico to win against Barcelona. But what do I know? Time will definitely tell. Guys, we have come to the end of today's show. Thank you so much for being part of this show. We appreciate you all. We appreciate the management of uh, MZ Radio for the continuous support and of course uh, for the coming uh, second year anniversary of MZ Radio. Ooh, come on, we are going to celebrate October 1st is the second year anniversary of MZ Radio and we are going to celebrate. Of course, uh, it's a day that we have kept and we have, you know, save that date. Guys, save that date. MZ Radio will be two years on October 1st. All right, so I want to thank the management of MZ Radio for giving us the platform and the opportunity. Same goes to the AP Radio, you know, UK for equally giving us the opportunity to be part of the show. Thank you and God bless you. I appreciate you all. My producer, my editor, Muiwa Eminem Studio, God bless you too. My entire team, God bless you. Uh, the studio of Street Point, Street Creative Studio that we are using, thank you for giving us your studio to be part of this. Thank you all. God bless you. See you next week. In the words of Billie Jean King, a champion is afraid of losing. But guess what? Everyone else is afraid of winning. So which side would you love to be on? It's still Exports on Radio, a production of Eagles House Global Resources. Till we come your way again, I remain more sporting and stay active every day. Oh, he loves